Live from Las Vegas, it's Keto Cooking. Hey, Crockpot, you ready to go to work? Let's do it. Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Tom Garvey, the Keto Cook. Today we are going to be making some, also buco, but we're going to be doing it in the crock pot. I'm going to make it in a little bit of a different way. Uh, we're going to use some spaghetti squash, and we're going to make up a, a, another sauce to go along with it. So this is going to be a unique cook, and it's going to be featuring the old crock pot. Okay, Crock-Pot, you ready to work? Let's rock and roll. Okay, what we're going to be doing here is this, like I said, going to be in a slow cooker. Uh, I'm going to put some Tommy Spice in the bottom of the, this bowl here. We're going to season them up. And um, now this is a very, very tough cut. Okay, it's the shank. So you see here, you have the larger portion of the shank. With a beautiful marrow right here. Uh, well, that's a, that's a big bone, okay? So, we're going to put this, whoop, we're going to put this in here, and we're going to season it up, uh, just with Tommy Spice for now, okay? And then we are going to take it, and then I'm going to braise it in, it's part of its own juices, but then also I have here, I have some, uh, some beef stock that I have, had made a while ago, so I'm going to use this. We're going to use this to uh, enhance the flavor a little bit. So, very simple, easy. Matter of fact, it is, like the song says, easy like Sunday morning, because that's exactly what this is. Sunday morning, this is going to be a Sunday dinner. And let's get the next one here. Looks like I'm building a leg in it. <laughs> and we'll just sprinkle this on here. Now I got Sundays, like I said, special day for me. In the background, I got some Sinatra playing. I don't know if anybody's going to hear it or not. And uh, we're going to put this into the crock pot. Now I got the crock pot set on high, and um, this is going to—I'm going to start it out with five and a half hours, but I do believe it's going to take a little bit longer. Uh, now with, with the Tommy spice on, I'm going to just add a little bit more coarse black pepper. But don't stop hitting the camera. Okay, now what I go for, and other people say, ooh, I go for the marrow. Okay, that is, that's, in my eyes, it's good for your health. Plain and simple. Okay. Hey, leg, we'll be talking to you later. Play that song. She got legs. Okay, here's the complaint department now. We just bought these onions not too long ago, okay? Uh, I mean, they don't last anymore. I don't, <laughs> I don't understand it, okay? Um, you buy them in the bag, bring them home, and, you know, not for nothing, but you pay a little bit of money for them, okay? And the skin is starting to come off. You can start feeling that, that they're starting to turn. And uh, let me add that other one, right? And if you want, you can start your own farm. Look at this. This, I mean, this is like four days old that they'll be brought home from the store. I mean, what the hell is going on here? All right. So, but you know where that's going, Marie? Right? Probably put that in the dirt. So, okay. Um, I'm going to chop up this onion. I'm going to leave it. We're going to set it, set it off to the side for a little bit. Um, I'm having a tough peeling. I mean, I remember, I remember doing 50 pounds of onions. No, no, I don't know what's going on with all this, with our produce and stuff. I really don't. And uh, I don't want to sound like the complaint department because that's not what you're here for. Simple chop. Um, one way, go this way first. Dice it. Now, I'm going to put this in last because uh, I don't want it to go, uh, I don't want it to be, lose it. You know what I mean? I want, I want the flavor, the onion flavor. And, um. If you put it in now, uh, you'll wind up, you'll never see the onions again. So, okay, we're just going to go in, in here, 
but some lately I'm having nothing but trouble cutting and dealing with onions. That's my cry of the day. Okay, I'm gonna just put a little Tommy spice in here. That's gonna sit. I'm gonna run these under water a little bit too if, if they start uh, oxidizing. So now, clove of garlic. Bust that up. Even garlic. It's hard to find garlic anymore. Decent garlic. Uh, I mean, this 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 is the size of the stuff that we're getting here. I mean, it's it's crazy. And you, you know what? And you're paying top dollar. I think we had a sleeve of it. it was like uh, almost three bucks. So, all right. And coarsely chopped the the garlic. And there again, this is this is old. I mean, you start saying it's getting ready to root again. I mean, it's crazy. But there again, I don't know. Life goes on. The older I get, the more disturbed I become about certain things, especially being used to. But you know what? That's the way it is. So that garlic is very, very pungent. Now, if you want to get, if you don't like that really burny taste from the garlic, uh, put it in the microwave. 10-15 seconds takes it right away. Still, still gives you that garlic taste, but it takes that burn away from it. So, all right, everything's gonna. This is gonna go into the crock in a, in a couple hours. Uh, we're gonna put it in the refrigerator and just let it sit, and we'll be back. Okay, it's time to um, add the uh, onion and also the garlic that I that I chipped up. That's gonna go into the crock pot. So, now I've noticed the. Um, an interest in, in, in the uh, seasoning that I use. My Tommy Spice is what I call it. Okay. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to need to be filled up. I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. How easy it is. And you can come up with your own own specific way of doing it. I mean, there is no uh, right or wrong way. So what I do is my wife takes a neat funnels. She takes the top of a uh, whatever it was, a, a uh, seltzer bottle that goes in there. Now I take my salt that I use. Now I mix this, blend this up myself. This is uh, usually half kosher, uh, coarse, and, and sea salt that's co coarse. Okay, the, you know, I like to coarse on it because you can control it. It flavors better, in my eyes anyway. So I'll take a full teaspoon of salt. Full teaspoon of granulated garlic. Now, you can use powders if you want, okay? I find being the granulated, okay, makes it for an e more even uh, taste, especially when you're, when you're putting on powders. You can overdo it with powders, okay? Um, now, ground black pepper, coarse. Ooh, almost dropped it. And here's where I start sneezing, so... Everything's an equal part of a tablespoon. Now, if you want to use it in a, in a bigger container, you can do two, three, whatever, four uh, tablespoons or a quarter cup of each. It depends on how big of a... Okay, now that's the onion. That's the added part that people forget to leave off. I mean, everybody uses salt, pepper, and garlic. Put that onion there, especially the granulated, okay? I mean, the holes that I have on top of this... There's some small and some larger holes, okay? But it gives it gives you that even distribution of it. So let me just put this down like that. Now I usually take my tongs or something thin and I just stick it in there and just move it around, mix it in with the that was what was left. And you can see the different the different color you know colors coming back up again. And just mix it all up. Try to get it, you know, even as far as, but it's, it's almost hard to do. And then I'll just take my hand and I'll just shake it a couple different ways. Okay. Yeah, there it is. Right there. Tommy Spice. Salt, pepper, garlic, and onion. All granulated. Ta-da. Okay, back at the pan. Now, I got the spaghetti squash. Now, if you're following me, 
Uh, we had a problem with our oven, and, and uh, we actually had to cook this in, in, in the rings in the microwave. And i got to tell you, we froze it, and it's, it's still, still fine. So I'm going to pull this apart, and I'm going to start preparing. Um, look at it, it just comes right off. It doesn't get any better than this. I mean, I'm just telling you, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. Okay, so I'm going to put this off to the side. Um, and while I'm getting ready to saute up, you know, you know the rule right here. Butter, olive oil, get the pan good and hot. Uh, I think I might need a little bit more butter. I'll throw another little one in there. Now this is coarsely chopped, naturally in a non-stick pan. Uh, if, it, if it was in a conventional pan, uh, I would put a lot, a little bit more olive oil in it, and a little bit more of, um, of butter. But this is, this is where we're going with this right here. Now I'm just going to make this spaghetti squash. Actually, I'm just going to dump it right in the pan. Um, this spaghetti squash. I'm just going to make like this: butter, olive oil, garlic. I mean, it didn't, it didn't get any better than that. I'm amazing. So now doing it in the microwave, like I said in the last the last video, this is much better than just doing it in the oven because in the oven it still, in my eyes, still comes out a little bit more to where it is still stuck together. It's still still a lot of moisture. I'm just pull them apart. You're doing your body so much, so much better with 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 the spaghetti squash. And don't forget, I could I could pound some pasta down in a heartbeat. But a little Tommy spice, a little bit more butter in there, a little more olive oil. Yeah, the aromas are. Whoo -hoo. I might even have to have a glass of Chianti. I'm going to leave these in, the, in this state right here. Just cook them. Cook them out like that. But this I'm going to incorporate some of that garlic in here. Spread it out. Oh, man. I know somebody who's going to like this. Okay, there we are at three hours right here. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, the aromas, I always say this, but I, I mean, I wish we had, can invent smell of vision or whatever they want to call it. it. It still has a ways to go, okay? Uh, they're pulling apart from the bone. Uh, the smaller ones, the marrow is, is there. Uh, I just flip them. And, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in some, um, of the other ingredients that I'm going to make the sauce with that I can put on the spaghetti squash. Now, this is going to be a unique first time doing it um, with, you know, with a different sauce for the spaghetti squash. So, I mean, I, it's a Sunday dinner, and I know a lot of my friends and everybody has pasta, but I'm going to make it in a different way. So, we're going to let this go a little bit longer. Let's take care of your legs. Put the cover back on it, and we'll come back uh, probably in another two hours so. All right, so what I did was it looks a little foamy is because I ran the immersion blender through it. I figured I'd save you the, the anguish of watching me trying to thicken this up a little bit here. So what I did was uh, onions and garlic went in, and then um, I thickened it up. I just want to give it a little bit of a taste. It's got that deep, deep beef flavor, it's which I'm looking for. Let me add a little bit more Tommy spice to it. Now, the meat... It's going to have to go a little bit longer because it is still a little tough. So, um, yeah, I have no problem with that right now. All right. Okay, after a grueling wait, I hate doing this when I'm hungry. I mean, it just, it, it's, it's, an, it's crazy. Anyway, here it is. Uh, that is the beef shank and with the spaghetti squash. Now, the spaghetti squash was done just with olive oil, butter, and garlic. That, that's it, and the flavor is unbelievable. This right here, the shank, it says pulling apart, and I gotta tell you, uh, 
this with the price of meats right now, everybody's complaining about it again. This is a this is a good good deal for you and also very nutritious. All right, listen, I'm Tom Garber, the keto cook. I'm getting ready to sit down and eat. I'll talk to you later. Adios.